G'day, thank you for tuning in. Before we get into the video, I'd like to welcome a couple of new subscribers. Welcome aboard, hope you find the channel interesting and informative. Well, yes, I've been out collecting again. And this time I picked up a fair bit of stuff. Backstory to this is I've been helping a friend of mine on some uh, consultancy work for a uh, exchange failover server uh, using Postfix. Uh, either using MacOS Server 5, Postfix, or Debian. And we came to the final conclusion that Debian would be the way to go. Um, seems to work better, and it's a bit less complex to set up. He then turned around and said, is any of this any good to you? And I said, certainly is. So what I've picked up are two LCD monitors. These are about 13, maybe 15 inch keyboards over the back there of various working conditions and then all this so we have a couple of gx60s here which i will use for parts and parting out and stuff like that you can see the optical drive or optical and floppy are missing but that's nothing major and we have two towers here these are full-size tower or midi towers this one down here is a pentium d and this one here is a pentium dual core that one's obviously a gigabyte motherboard. And this one is a Houston custom build. And then these two, HP Pavilion units. Now, I'm not sure what mods have been made to anything. But if we go on the uh, current look of it, you see behind here we've got some USBs, Firewire 1394. SD card reader with another USB 2 slot there. Some audio. We have a DVD writer in behind there. These are pretty much the same computer. Um, you'll see here, you know, your complete imaging and entertainment hub. And it's got a uh, dual layer DVD drive in it. They are powered by XP. I haven't actually turned any of them on yet. I know these ones. Uh, uh, need repairing and then we've got this one here so why don't we uh, flip them around and have a look at the back of them okay so spun around so off the gigabyte one pretty much see you got your standard IO there no expansion cards used GX60 is pretty much the same fairly box standard this one here, again, no expansion. Um, pretty much your standard input outputs there. Now, these are, I should have said this in the first part, these are Pavilion 1000s. And uh, you can see there we've got Firewire 1394, USB, surround audio availability, digital in and out. Same down here. Uh, both of these got uh, 56K modems in them. And uh, that's about it. I've been out collecting again. Screens are both ViewSonic VA702Bs with just uh, VGA, then on DVI, which is no biggie. So, what's the plan for them? Well, I don't actually know yet. I know I need. One for a friend who needs a uh, NAS server or NAS drive. So one of these will become a NAS. Probably not these ones um, because obviously I need to find out what's in them. We might have a look at them later. The pavilions. Uh, probably I may end up putting um, some sort of Linux operating system on them for uh, maybe a boot server for something if I can find a Linux that'll act as a boot server on a P4 um, which is a possibility I don't know yet um, these are only MIDI towers and they're nowhere near as tall as this one or this one um, but what's actually in these no idea we might have a look at that <coughs> pardon me, in another video but that's about it. That's sort of what I went and did yesterday. And um, yeah, my 
mate of mine who, as, as I've said before, he runs a computer shop, but he actually often asks me for help or advice or, you know, tell each other strange stories of what we've come across. And um, he's been trying to organise a exchange failover server and we've been tossing up between a Windows DAG setup, which is obviously clustering, um, Mac OS Server 5 with Postfix, or Debian with Postfix. And we... Uh, I did the research on the Mac stuff, he did the research on the Linux stuff, came up that he managed to get the Linux stuff running because it's a little bit easier to get going, but he still wanted the Mac way of doing it in case the Linux way doesn't work the way he thinks it's going to. So, managed to find out and get some information on setting the um, Mac OS X Server 5 up. Uh, I wasn't aware Server 5 was even out and about yet, but I don't keep up with the Mac side of stuff. So that's about it. It's what I've collected. And uh, <coughs> we might have a look inside a couple of them, see what makes them tick, and uh, see what we can use for them. But as I said, I've got one guy that wants one for a NAS server. And as he's not in a domain or an ADS state, uh, it's just a work, you know, work group, Windows work group, um, a NAS setup will be piss easy. Um, but yeah, I'll just got to work out what I'm going to use them all for. Anyway, thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Plenty more videos coming up in the very near future. Please like, comment, and subscribe.